This is a Game Caviar production. I wonder if... This is one of those I wonder if videos. Not having in the Game Caviar Studios. Playing some Battlefield 3 on PS3 this time. And I was just thinking, man. I saw a video the other day with this. This guy was going into... He did an in-depth analysis of lag compensation in Call of Duty. If I can still... I think I saved it to uh, my favorites list. If not, I'll see if I can find it. If I can find that video, I'll post the link. Uh, some of you may have seen it already. It's very, it's, it's very, really popular video because lag compensation and Call of Duty are, they go hand in hand, basically. And I know what you're saying, probably like, why are you playing Battlefield talking about Call of Duty and lag compensation? Well, you really don't have to worry about lag compensation when playing Battlefield because of dedicated servers. One of the solutions that the, the guy talked about, and uh, it sucks that I can't remember his name, but uh, I'll do my best to find that link. But he talked about going through and uh, some of the things that developers can do to get rid of lag compensation. Uh, dedicated servers came up. Uh, he made an interesting point, though. He said the dedicated servers, they only last for so long. Uh, you just can't. Uh, you, they, they, they keep them up for so long, and once they're gone, they're, they're, they're gone. And he was saying that Call of Duty it has the ability to, as long as somebody's playing and you have enough people, you can always have a match, which is cool. And I definitely like that idea in theory, but it doesn't really work on Call of Duty. Uh, dedicated servers is definitely, and I've said this before, I think dedicated servers in uh, first-person shooters are definitely the way to go. Uh, just like I got killed right there. But it's all about capturing that flag. I noticed that. Uh, but, uh, like I said, dedicated servers, man. I mean, it's got. they have to find some way to incorporate that into Call of Duty. I understand, I understand the need in, for the, the current way of doing it. And I understand how they want to uh, save money by not doing dedicated servers. But, come on. I mean, they have to find some sort of way to uh, incorporate that into a Call of Duty game. But we have two games coming up this year. Battlefield 4 is definitely coming out this year. And you have the new Call of Duty, which is rumored to be Call of Duty Ghost. Activision recently showed off their new, uh, what is it, their new engine for games, basically. Uh, and a lot of people are wanting them to use that engine on the new Call of Duty. I think they will. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to it. I'm so... I, I'm so disconnected from Call of Duty right now that I just, I, I passively follow it now, you know. Uh, so, I, I think that, that and, and one of the things that was in the video that I was talking about earlier, the guy said that, look, if you get a new engine, that would help out. I don't know exactly how much that would help out. Uh, I do remember him saying it could help or it could hurt because... Uh, it can get rid of some of the problems that they're having now, but it can introduce new problems because it, it's a new engine. But I don't know. I th I still think that uh, they need to go ahead and get a new engine. Just like EA and DICE, they come out with the, uh, the, the I guess it's DICE more than EA, but they come out with the Frostbite engine. Like this is on Frostbite 2, the next one will be on Frostbite 3, the next Battlefield. So... It's everything about Call of Duty and Activision and Infinity Ward, more Infinity Ward and Treyarch, they they seem so archaic in their making of Call of Duty games. He said that the uh, the guy said that the Call of Duty engine, the current one, is is built off some Quake 3 motor that was heavily modified. I didn't even know that. You know how long it's been since I, I somebody played Quake 3 or Quake 3 Arena or whatever he said? I don't know what he said. Quake 3 or Quake 3 Arena. Probably Quake 3 Arena because that's the one that was played online, right? If I if I, if, if if memory serves me right. But you know how long ago that has been? That's unbelievable that they've been using that same... I mean, I don't know they have changed it and, and done the whole modification thing. It's still... Come on, man. I mean, that, that engine is old. It's, it's dinosaur old. Like, seriously. I don't understand wh how they get away with doing that. But, uh, like I said, I'm going to be checking out the the new Call of Duty game passively. I've already got Battlefield 4 pre-ordered. I'm just sick and tired of the 
the lag and the lag compensation and all the other stupid stuff that they put in the game just to dazzle you so that you can be uh, so that you could be distracted from the main uh, problems of the game. And I also didn't like how Treyarch leaned so so heavily on um, leaned so heavily on league play as opposed to the multiplayer community as a whole. I'm not saying Infinity Ward is going to do that, but uh, Treyarch really screwed Call of Duty as a whole for as far as as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, this has been Battlefield three yeah <laughs> i got battlefield four on the mind people this has been battlefield three on ps3 i'm not having it in the game caviar studios and i'm out this has been a game caviar production like this video and subscribe for more